Thank you. Question from Antara Indonesia National News Agency. In July 2023, China and ASEAN member countries agreed to foster the negotiation for a binding code of conduct for uh, South, East, South China Sea. Uh, but regarding this kind of situation, currently, uh, is China still optimistic for the negotiation? And if so, what does China offer for more uh, harmonious and peaceful for the code of conduct in South China Sea? Thank you. Indonesia Antara Tongxunshe. 2023年7月,中国与东盟国家一致同意推动谈判,推进达成具有约束力的南海行为准则。为营造南海和平和谐环境,中方将在推动达成南海行为准则方面提出什么方案? The Chinese people have lived by and worked in the South China Sea for generations. Since early days, the South China Sea Islands have been territories under the jurisdiction of the Chinese government in accordance with the law. Nowadays, the South China Sea is the busiest, safest and freest waterway in the world. For decades, 50% of the world's merchant vessels have sailed through this waterway, accounting for one-third of maritime trade, and this has never been disrupted or hampered. Despite the turbulence in the world, peace and stability in the South China Sea have been maintained thanks to the collective efforts of China and ASEAN countries. This does not come by easily and should be dearly cherished. The most important experience we have drawn is that we must adhere to two principles. First, differences should be properly managed and resolved through dialogue and consultation or negotiation between states directly involved. Second, peace at the sea should be upheld by China and ASEAN countries working together. These are also the core principles in the Declaration on the Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea, signed in 2002. On maritime disputes, China has been exercising a high degree of restraint. We maintain that parties should find solutions that are acceptable to each and all by working in the spirit of good neighborliness and friendship and on the basis of respecting historical and legal facts. But abusing such good faith should not be allowed. Distorting maritime laws cannot be accepted. In the face of deliberate infringements, we will take justified actions to defend our rights in accordance with the law. In face of unwarranted provocation, we will respond with prompt and legitimate countermeasures. We also urge certain countries outside the region not to make provocations, pick sides, or stir up troubles and problems in the South China Sea. On upholding peace and stability in the South China Sea, it is important that China and ASEAN countries continue to impl implementing the DOC and at the same time accelerate negotiations on the COC and establish regional rules that are more effective, substantive, and in line with the international law, including law of the sea. With strong efforts from China, the second reading of the COC was successfully completed, and procedures for the third reading launched. We'll work with ASEAN countries to strive for an early conclusion of the COC and ensure that the South China Sea remains a sea of peace and cooperation. Thank you.